So today we shall discuss a part of integration that is also called type of integration. Integration by parts. Integration by parts. Here we have two x terms. They are in product. Integration of u into v dx. We don't have product rule, but if two x terms or two functions of x, if they are in if they are in product form, then we can we can integrate this using integration by parts. So these two x terms we will be considered as one is first term, other one is second term. Then we have a formula, the derivation is not required. So that formula is integration of first function into second function is equal to first function into integration of second function minus integral of bracket, put bracket without fail, d by dx of first function into integration of second function into dx plus c. This will be treated as formula, standard formula for integration by parts. So the considering first and second term is based on certain instruction. We have to go according to that. So in the given problem, the first term will become first term or it may not become first term. We have to choose someone will be the first and other one will be the second based on certain instruction. I will tell you that instruction, right? Please remember this formula. What is formula for integration by parts or what is the rule to integrate the product of two functions? One will not be the derivative of other. These are two functions, right? One should not be the derivative of other. So if one is derivative of other, then we should go for integration by substitution method. When one is not the derivative of other, then we should use this standard form, right? The selection of first and selection of first and second term is important. See, there are two terms, right? One is u, other one is v into dx. Both should be in what? u and v should be function of x. u and v are function of x. So the first term, there are three steps to select first and second term. There are three ways of selecting first and second term. In first step, among the two functions, among the two functions, if both are integrable, it means what? Suppose there is a x into tan x. There is a x into e power x dx. There is x square into log x. Or I will take second square x dx. I mean to say that both the terms u and v should have integration. Do you find integration for x? Yes, it is x squared by 2. We have an integration for tan x, that is log of secant x, correct? Both are integrable. Come to this example. This is x, this is e power x. Both are having integra integrable x square is having integration, second square x is also integration. If this is the combination, if this is the combination, then we should choose the first term as the function which should vanish under successive differentiation. That means what? If I take tan x, if you differentiate it, you will get second square x. Again, second square x is differentiated to second x into second x tan x the derivative never ends. Suppose if I take x 
differentiated differentiation of x is what one differentiation of one is what zero so vanish correct okay? so that type of function will become first and the term which do not vanish under successive differentiation will become second if i come to here so x or x cube take x cube x cube will be vanished after four times of differentiation successively x cube 3x square next 3 into 2 6x next 6 into 1 next for constant 0 at four times after four steps of successive differentiation it become zero so it will vanish if i take e power x do you find derivative for e power x yes we have a differentiation of e power x if you differentiate it n times or infinite times it will be e power x only so the term which vanishes under successive differentiation will become first for first function so x cube is first e power x is second here also second square will not be vanished under successive differentiation x square will be vanished under successive differentiation so this will become first this will become second this is first this is second this is first instruction okay sometime we have x into log x dx sometime we have x into tan inverse x dx observe this second instruction second way of selecting first and second term there are two terms right here the rule is two terms are there in which one term is not having integration which term is not having integration x is having integration log x is not having integration integration of log x no we, we will we don't have formula for integration of log x correct that case here also inverse functions also having no integration x is having integration this is not having integration in that case we should take unintegrable first unintegrable unintegrable first and other is second here first is what function which vanishes which vanishes under under successive successive differentiation the other will become second okay this is second point third point here only unintegrable function will be there see sin inverse x dx log x dx we don't have two terms we have only one term so it is said to be unintegrable term if only unintegrable term is given we can find its integration by using integration by parts to take this integration by parts we should have two terms correct so here only one term is there you make that into two how by taking one into that given function one is what algebraic term this is what inverse function inverse function is unintegrable so that will be called as first constant is taken as second in case of log x also in case of log x also it should be taken as 1 into log x right so log x is what unintegrable it will be the first and constant will become second integrable will become second got this this is the selection of first and second function so we have a simple way of selecting first and second term apart from this this is the procedure okay to remember this we can have a simple way of selecting first and term listen we can also select first and second term in the integration by parts using the word ile so selection of first and second function function can be done by using by using the word 
I let using the word I let. So I means I means inverse functions. I means inverse function. Which are the inverse functions? Sine inverse x, cos inverse x, tan inverse x, like that. I means inverse. L means log functions. Log function. That is log x, log 2x, log 3x, etc. A means algebraic functions. Algebraic functions. Which are algebraic functions? X, x square x cube x plus 3 algebraic function t t means trigonometric functions t means trigonometric function which are the trigonometric functions sin x sin 2x cos 3x secant square x like that and last one is e e means e means exponential terms exponential functions which are exponential function e power x e power 2x e power 3x etc see this we have a shortcut of selecting first and second term that is by using what the word called i let based on this word i let how the function is to be considered as first and second I am taking example x into e power x. What is x? You say x is what? Algebraic, correct? What is e? e is exponential. In the word I let, in the word I let, whether a comes first or e comes first, a is first, then we have e, then a algebraic that will be the first term and e exponential that will be the second see this is the simple way of selecting first and second term i am taking x into tan x dx what is x algebraic what is tan x it is trigonometric correct whether a comes first or t comes first in the word i lay a comes first, then T comes. Correct? Therefore, algebraic will be the first, trigonometric will be the second. If I take x into log 2x dx, first identify the function. x is what? Algebraic. Logarithmic. Log 2x is what? Logarithmic. Observe the word I like, which comes first. A or L. L is first, then A. Correct? Therefore, logarithmic functions will become first and algebraic will become second in this case. This is first, this is second. Right? X into sine inverse x dx. X into sine inverse x dx. What is x? Algebraic. What is sine inverse x? It is inverse. Which comes first? I or A? See, I let. I comes first, then A. This is first. Inverse is first. Other one will become second. Suppose if only logarithmic functions are given, or inverse functions are given. To integrate log s, we have to use integration by parts. For that, we should take 1 into log x. So, 1 will be the algebraic constant. This is logarithmic. Therefore, log first, then A. Logarithmic is first, other one is second. If it is having only trigna inverse trigonometric functions, sine inverse x, then it has to be taken as what? 1 into sine inverse x into dx. So, inverse function. Inverse function, algebraic number constant. So inverse will become first, one become second. So the option is yours. Either use these instructions to select first and second function, or you can use this word highlight. So I think this will be the better 
and there is no confusion in it. You just remember the word I left. A means algebraic, T means trigonometry, T means exponential. If you remember the word I left and the formula, what is that formula? Integration of first function into second function is equal to first function into integration of second minus integral of bracket d by dx of first into integration of second into dx plus c. With this, you can solve any problem in the integration by parts. Okay, let us take examples. Evaluate the following integral. Evaluate the following integral. I am taking simple one x into e power x dx. x into e power x dx. So there are two terms, right? They are in product. Hence, we should go for integration by parts. Given terms are what? One is algebraic, other one is exponential. In the word I laid, in the word I laid, which which letter comes first? A or E? A first, then E. Therefore, algebraic will become first, exponential will become second. According to the formula, what the formula says, integration of first into second function into dx is equal to first function. What is first function? x integration of integration of second, which is second e power x dx, right? Minus integral of put bracket d by dx of what? d by dx of first function, which is first function x into integration of second function which is second function e power x into dx into dx plus c so this dx is for this integral this dx is for this integral right x into integration of e power dx is what e power x minus integral of put bracket differentiation of x is 1 into integration of e power x is e power x plus the bracket into dx plus c. So after differentiation and integration, some combination will come. So in that combination, you first simplify that. It is a product, right? If it is having only constant, you can take it outside. If it is 1, if you multiply with that 1 to that term, you will get same term. Sometime you will get x, then x into function again. In that case, how to integrate? Again, we have to go for integration by parts. Depending upon the answer, you should decide. Now, in this problem, we got what? 1 into e power x is what? e power x, right? Into dx plus c. Don't integrate for 1 and don't integrate for e power x. It is product. First simplify. After simplification, you will get only e power x. Integrate e power x. Integration of e power x is what? e power x plus c. You can write this is the answer. Otherwise, you can also take e power x as common. e power x, if I take e power x is common, what is remaining? x minus 1 plus c. Right? You just follow this. You will get integral of any problem if they are in product. Next, integration of x square e power 3x into dx. Integration of x square into e power 3x into dx. First, select the function which is first and which is second. First, we have to identify which is the combination, whether it is algebraic and trigonometric or algebraic and exponential. 
are algebraic and logarithmic are algebraic or inverse like that x square is algebraic right e power x is exponential according to the word i lay a comes first then e therefore algebraic term will be treated as first and other one is second according to this rule the answer will come integration of first into second term integration of first into second term is equal to first function correct right according to this first function which is first function x square integral of second what is second e power 3x into dx minus integral of d by dx of what first which is first x square into integration of second which is second function e power 3x into dx dx plus c okay this is equal to x square into integration of e power x e power 3x so this is of what for e power ax plus b e to the power of 3x by 3 correct e power ax plus b is equal to e to the power of ax plus b divided by x coefficient what is x coefficient x coefficient is 3 minus integral of put the bracket differentiate x square what it is differentiation of x square is 2x into integration of e power 3x same as this e power 3x divided by 3 into dx plus c or it is equal to x square e power 3x divided by 3 minus you take the constants outside which are the constants 2 and 3 2 divided by 3 what is remaining x into e power 3x into dx right x into e power 3x what is the integral integral is x into e power 3x again there are two terms which are in product then if they are in product how to integrate it we have to use integration by parts right again identify the terms this is algebraic this is exponential algebraic become first exponential become second correct algebraic become first exponential become second again apply the rule again apply that rule x square e power 3x divided by 3 minus 2 by 3 into write the formula in bracket taking a bracket what is rule first function first function into integration of second function minus integral of bracket d by dx of first into integration of second into dx plus c right that is equal to x square e power 3x divided by 3 minus 2 by 3 into keep x as it is integration of e power 3x that is e power 3x by what by 3 minus integral of d by dx of x is what differentiation of x is 1 integration of e power 3x e power 3x by 3 into dx plus c that is x square e power 3x divided by 3 minus 2 by 3 into x into e power 3x by 3 minus again 1 into e power 3x is e power 3x divided by what 3 you take it outside 1 divided by 3 into integration of e power 3x dx plus c or x square e power 3x divided by 3 minus 2 by 3 into x e power 3x divided by 3 minus 1 by 3 integrate this integration of e power 3x is what it is e power 3x divided by 3 that is x coefficient we have to take x coefficient at denominator plus c that is equal to x square e power 3x divided by 3 remove that bracket minus into plus minus 2 divided by 3 into 3 9 x into 
d power 3x minus into minus plus 1 by 3 into 3 3 into 2 by 3 that is 2 divided by 3 into 3 9 9 into 3 27 into d power 3x plus c so when those when both the functions are integrable if both the functions are integrable see what is the power of x if it is having only one the answer will be getting in integration by parts one time suppose if it is x square see first time we have applied integration by parts again within that again it will be reoccur integration by parts so if both are integrable in that case the integration by parts comes in the problem as many times as that of power of x. Suppose if the power is 3, we need to write 3 times, step by step. If it is having 4, it will have 4 times, right? This is only in case of both the terms should be integrable, right? So, I am writing this formula here, integration of first into second function, dx is equal to first function into integration of second minus integral of d by dx of what? First into integration of second into dx plus c. This is the formula. Next, let us take other problems. Integration of x into cos x dx. x into cos x dx. First, identify the terms. One is x, other one is cos x. x will be called as algebraic, cos x will be called as trigonometry. According to the word I like, I lay, which comes first, A or T, A comes first, then T, correct? So, algebraic will be the first, trigonometric will be the second, right? According to the formula, what the formula says, first function into integration of second, second function minus integral of bracket d by dx of first, which is first x into integration of second. What is second? Second function is cos x. Close the bracket, write dx plus c. Just take the integration wherever we have integral symbol and do the differentiation wherever we have d by dx. Okay. x into, we should keep x as it is. We don't have symbol. Here, if I go to further, I I come across what? Integration symbol. Means what? I have to integrate the next term. Integration of cos x is what? Sin x minus integration of, put the bracket, differentiation of x is what? 1. Next, integration of cos x is what? Sin x into dx plus c. Or x into sin x minus into, see inside the integral symbol, I have 1 into sin x. If I multiply this, I will get what? Only sin x. 1 into sin x is sin x. So minus of integration of sin x dx. Or x into sin x minus integration of sin x is what? Minus cos x plus c. That is equal to x into sin x minus into minus is plus into cos x plus c. This is answer. So like that, use the word I laid to identify the term first or second, then apply the formula and make the integration. Next one. Integration of x plus 1 into sin 3x dx. 
integration of x plus 1 into sin 3x dx. Take the whole bracket, algebraic term, correct? This is what? Trigonometric. According to the word, I laid. Which comes first? Algebraic or trigonometric? Algebraic will be the first, correct? I laid. L, A, T, E. A comes first and then T, trigonometric. Right according to the rule. What the rule says? First function into. First function is x plus 1 into integration of second function. Second function is what? Sin 3x dx minus integral of d by dx of first. What is first function? It is x plus 1 into integration of second 3x into dx. Close the bracket dx plus c or it is equal to x plus 1 into integration of sin 3x. It is what? Minus cos 3x divided by 3. It is of what form? Sin of ax plus b form. Direct substitution method. Integration of sin of ax plus b is what? Minus cos ax plus b by x coefficient. Right? Minus integral of differentiation of x1 differentiation of 1 0 again the integration will repeat you can write the same thing here so minus cos 3x divided by 3 into dx plus c it is x plus 1 into minus cos 3x divided by 3 minus integral of c 0 plus 1 is what 1 if 1 is multiplied with this, you will get same thing, correct? This minus and this minus become what? Plus. And you take this constant outside, 1 by 3 into what is remaining? 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 into cos 3x is cos 3x into dx. Or it is minus of x plus 1 divided by 3 into cos 3x plus 1 by 3, 1 by 3 into, what is integration of cos 3x? It is sin 3x divided by 3 plus c or it is minus of x plus 1 divided by 3 into cos 3x plus 1 by 3 into 3, 9 into sin 3x plus c. This is answer. Right? Next problem, integration of x square into cos 2x dx. Integration of x square into cos 2x dx, right? What is this? Which term it is? Algebraic. This is what? It is trigonometric, right? According to I laid, algebraic will become first, trigonometric will become second, right? According to the formula, integration of first into second function is equal to first function into integration of second function into dx minus integral of keep the bracket d by dx of first that is x square into integration of second what is second function cos 2x into dx into dx plus c then keep x square as it is integration of cos 2x is what sin 2x by 2, right, minus integral of, differentiation of x squared is what, 2x into, integration of cos 2x is what, that is sin 2x divided by 2 into dx plus c, this 2, this 2 get cancelled, okay, it is x square into sin 2x divided by 2 minus integral of x into sin 2x into dx. How to integrate x into sin 2x? x into sin 2x can be integrated again by parts. Correct? Why? Because the two terms are in product. Again select according to the word I laid. This is algebraic. This is trigonometric. Therefore x become first. Sin 2x become second. 
that is x square by 2 into sin 2x minus apply integration by parts again okay first function first function into integration of second second minus integral of d by dx of d by dx of first function into integration of second function into what dx plus c it is x square by 2 into sin 2x minus inside the bracket do the integration by parts keep x as it is integration of sin is what minus cos minus cos of 2x divided by 2 it are x coefficient is there we have to write it minus integral of differentiation of x is 1 integration of sin 2x again minus cos 2x divided by 2 into dx plus c that is x square by 2 into sin 2x minus minus into minus plus x into cos 2x divided by 2 minus into minus plus plus into minus 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 into minus plus plus into minus minus integral of take the constant outside that is 1 by 2 into what is remaining cos 2x right into dx if you integrate this cos 2x then the problem ends x square by 2 into sin 2x plus x into cos 2x divided by 2 minus 1 by 2 into integration of cos 2x is sin 2x by 2 plus c. The next step 2 into 2 becomes what? Plus. Right? Integration of 1 minus x into second square x dx. 1 minus x into second square dx. So the whole bracket will be the what? Algebraic. This will be the trigonometry. Right according to the formula. What is formula? Formula is first function. First function is 1 minus x into integration of second function, second square x dx minus integral of d by dx of what d by dx of first that is 1 minus x 1 minus x into integration of second that is second square x dx close the bracket dx plus c it is keep 1 minus x as it is we don't have any symbol differentiation or integration then we have integration symbol means you have to integrate integration of second square x is what it is tan x minus integral of d by dx of 1 0 differentiation of minus x it is minus 1 into integration of second square x is tan x because derivative of tan x is second square x or integration of second square x is tan x plus c Right? It is 1 minus x into tan x. 0 minus 1 is what? Minus 1. So that minus 1 into minus become plus. If it is multiplied 1 with tan x, you will get tan x only plus sorry, dx plus c. Or it is 1 minus x into tan x. Plus integration of tan x is what? It is log of log of secant x. It is log of secant x plus c. Right? Next problem, it is of different type. Integration of x into sin square x or cos square x so here 
x into sin square x. So sin square x is does not have integration directly. To integrate this sin square, we need to take some formula for this. That is 1 minus cos 2x divided by 2. So we did it, we did it in integration by direct substitution method, right? So I cannot take them as first and second function at this stage because sin x can be or sin square x can be taken in this way. That is cos 2a is equal to 1 minus 1 minus 2 2 sin square x cos 2a or cos 2a is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square a. Therefore, 2 sin square a become what? 2 sin square a, if it is taken this side, it will become plus 1 minus cos 2a. Or if sin square is there, then you have to take this formula. So this is having integration, correct? We have integration of 1, we have integration of cos 2a, 2x, correct? Therefore, before taking into first and second function, first substitute for sin square x. What is sin square x? It is 1 minus cos 2x divided by 2 into dx. Or it is equal to, multiply with this, 1 into x is x, x by 2 minus x into cos 2x divided by 2 into dx. Or you can take 2 outside, that is 1 by 2. You can directly take it as 1 by 2 into integration of 1 into xx minus x into cos 2x dx. Again it is, integration is taken for both first term and second term. Integration of x dx minus integration of x into cos 2x dx plus this is the way we have to simplify before directly taking into first and second function. We have integration for x, it is x square by 2, right? It has to be integrated by what? Integration by parts. So this is algebraic, this is trigonometry, right? 1 by 2 into, for x it is x square by 2 minus, put again one bracket, apply integration by parts rule. First function into integration of second function minus integral of bracket d by dx of first into integration of second into dx right plus c and it is equal to 1 by 2 into x square by 2 minus x into what is integration of cos 2x it is sin 2x divided by 2 minus integral of differentiation of x is what 1 into integration of cos 2x is what sin 2x divided by 2 into dx plus c is it right or it is equal to 1 by 2 into x square divided by 2 minus x into sin 2x divided by 2 minus into minus plus 1 by 2 1 divided by 2 is taken outside what is remaining remaining is what sin 2x integration of sin 2x is minus cos 2x divided by 2 plus c then you can remove the bracket right Next one, integration of x into cosecant x into cortex dx. Observe the problem. Here we have three terms. That is x into cosecant x into cortex. To apply integration by parts, we should have only two terms, right? You make them into two. This is one. This is another. This is algebraic, 
this whole thing can be treated as trigonometric right write the formula first function inter integration of second so see can take center cortex dx minus integral of d by dx of first function x inter integration of second second is what so see can take center cortex so see can take center cortex dx dx plus c that is x center integration of cos x cosecant x into cortex it is it is minus cosecant x right minus integral of d by dx of x is 1 into integration of cosecant x into cortex is minus cosecant x into dx plus c or it is minus 1 into x is x x into cosecant x minus into minus plus cosecant x into dx plus c what is integration of cosecant x keep minus x into cosecant x as it is plus what is integration of cosecant x it is minus log of cosecant x plus cot x right integration of, of cosecant x is what minus log of cosecant x plus cot x this is minus x into cosecant x plus into minus minus log of cosecant x plus cot x plus c is answer right so here we solve different problems based on the first instruction that is what both are integrable right in which x algebraic become first and other one become second function it may be a trigonometric or it may be a exponential now let us move to the one is integrable function other one is unintegrable function that is along with algebraic terms there will be a unintegrable it may be a logarithmic function or inverse function okay say so this integration of x into log x x into log x observe the functions x is algebraic term correct log x is what logarithmic term algebraic logarithmic according to the word highlight which comes first a or l a or l which comes first algebraic comes first and then algebraic comes first then sorry logarithmic comes first then algebraic correct so algebraic is second logarithmic is first then routine procedure i write according to the formula first term into integration of second minus in law rocket d by dx of first what is first term log x into integration of second term which is second term x into dx dx plus c this is equal to keep log x as it is integration of x what is integration of x it is x square divided by 2 minus integral of d by dx of log x that is 1 by x right into integration of x x square by 2 into dx plus c 1 by x into x square by 2 first make the simplification of this x x get cancel right this is log x into x square divided by 2 minus take constant outside if any constants are there in the integral it has to be taken outside 1 by 2 i have i have taken outside what is remaining x x cancel 1 x is there into dx plus c this is log x into x square by 2 minus 1 by 2 into what is integration of x integration of x is x square divided by 2 plus c observe here x square by 2 x square by 2 in both the term it is away you can take it outside x square by 2 into log x 
minus 1 by 2 plus C. This is answer. Right? Next one, integration of x cube into log 5x. You can take any power of x and the log of any times of x. That is logarithmic, logarithmic, this is algebraic. Here you can take any power, here also you can take any number 5, 6, 7, 8. It will be in the same way, algebraic and Algebraic and logarithmic. So, which comes first? Logarithmic first, algebraic second. Use the rule. Rule says that first function into log 5x into integration of second, which is second, x cube dx minus integral of d by dx of what? d by dx of first, that is log 5x into integration of into integration of second which is second function x cube into dx into dx plus c taking rocket this is equal to what log 5x is taken as it is integration of x cube what is integration of x cube it is x to the power of 4 by 4 right 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 minus integral of Differentiation of log 5x, log of function, is it right? For log x, it is 1 by x. For log function, it is 1 by function into d by dx of function, that is 5x, into integration of x cube, x to the power of 4 by 4 into dx plus c. This is equal to log of 5x into x to the power of 4 by 4 minus integral of 1 by 5 is taken as it is in differentiation of 5x differentiation of 5x is 5 into 1 into x to the power of 4 divided by 4 into dx plus c now make this simplification 5 5 cancel x x cancel what is remaining x cube then it become what log of 5x into x to the power of 4 by 4 minus if any constant is there in the integral you take it outside what is constant it is 1 by 4 integral of x cube right x cube into dx plus c into dx plus c that is log of 5x into what x to the power of 4 by 4 minus 1 by 4 into what is integration of x cube it is x to the power of 4 by 4 plus c in this problem also we have common x to the power of 4 by 4 so in log for in log problem definitely you will have common thing to take outside x to the power of 4 by 4 that is log of 5x minus 1 by 4 plus c right so in that way, you can work out any problem by taking any power of x and log of any value, right? Now let us take a inverse trigonometric functions. Integration of x into tan inverse x dx x into tan inverse x dx take them which function they are x is what algebraic tan inverse is what inverse function correct according to the word i late i means inverse so that is first then algebraic comes so according to the rule it become what first function into integration of second minus integral of rocket d by dx of first into integration of second into dx plus c right this is equal to tan inverse of x what is integration of x 
it is x square divided by 2 minus integral of differentiate tan inverse x differentiation of tan inverse x is 1 by 1 plus x square into differentiation of x is what x square by 2 into dx plus c this is tan inverse x into what x square divided by 2 minus take the constant outside it is 1 by 2 into 1 into x square is x square divided by 1 plus x square into dx plus c so x square by 1 plus x square how to integrate this so we cannot integrate directly suppose if it is only x then we can integrate it by substitution method right taking this is t differentiating it we can change the variables we have same power of x means we need to divide 1 plus x square in x square so i tell you a simple method of simplifying that instead of dividing minus 1 by 2 into integration of we have x square at numerator correct you just add one if i add one i need to subtract one also then only the term will not be affected correct just add and subtract one or numerator x square add or add and subtract with one for what numerator and denominator for numerator x square then it means what every term of numerator should be divided with denominator so i will do according to my requirement that is that is integration of i am making a group that is 1 plus x square all divided by 1 plus x square minus 1 by 1 plus x square into dx so if i take lcm and simplify definitely i will get same thing right then I have 1 plus x square, 1 plus x square, they get cancelled. What is remaining? Tan inverse of x into x square divided by 2 minus 1 by 2 into integration of 1 minus 1 by 1 plus 1 by 1 plus x square dx plus c. That is, keep this tan inverse of x into x square by 2 as it is minus 1 by 2 into what is integration of 1 integration of 1 is equal to x minus integration of 1 by 1 plus x square is what it is tan inverse x plus c this is answer right like that you can also work out for x into sine inverse x Suppose only one term is given, that is an integrable term. It may be a logarithmic or it may be a inverse. In that case, what to do? Take such problems. So integration of log x into dx. Integration of log x, only one term is there. We don't have integration for log. Then we should take them into 1 into log x, right? The given problem is multiplied with 1, that is 1 into log x. Now it becomes two terms, right? One is logarithmic, other one is algebraic, right? So this is first, this is second. Logarithmic comes first, then the other one will become second. Use rule first function into integration of second right minus integral of d by dx of first first is dot log x into integration of 1 into dx plus c that is equal to log x into integration of 1 is equal to what integration of 1 is x minus integral of differentiation of log x 1 by x into integration of 1 it is x into dx plus c x x get cancelled 
what is remaining one right so integration of one is what we can write directly x log x into x minus integration of one is x plus c otherwise we can take x is common it is log x minus 1 plus c right next integration of log of 4x dx we can take log of any number 2x 3x 4x 5x right it is only a log function correct then it should be multiplied with 1 into log 4x this is logarithmic this is algebraic make this is first and this is second constant numerical constant can also be called as logarithmic constant write according to formula first function first function is log 4x into integration of second minus integral of bracket d by dx of log 4x into integration of second function into dx plus c that is equal to log of 4x into integration of 1 is x minus integral of differentiation of log function it is 1 by function into differentiation of function right 1 by 4x into differentiation of 4x is 4 into 1. Differentiation of, sorry, integration of x, 1 is x into dx. 4, 4 cancel, xx cancel. What is remaining? Log 4x into x minus only 1 is there. Integration of 1, it is x, right? x into log 4x minus x plus c x plus c if i take only an integral term that is inverse function sin inverse x or tan inverse x like that here also i should multiply that unintegrable into what one dx make this into one into sin inverse x dx sin inverse x is taken as 1 into sin inverse x so sin inverse x it is inverse function this is algebraic constant this will become first and this will become second according to the rule first function sin inverse x into integration of second minus integral of d by dx of what first into integration of second into dx plus c that is equal to sin inverse x into what is integration of 1 it is x minus integral of what is differentiation of sin inverse x it is root of 1 by root of 1 minus x square correct next integration of 1 is x into dx plus c just this how to integrate this See, 1 into x divided by root of 1 minus x square. Take it as substitution method, right? t is equal to 1 minus x square. I am taking this is t, differentiating it. Differentiation of t with respect to x. That is dt is equal to 0 minus 2x into dx, right? Or it can be taken as dt divided by minus 2 is equal to x into dx i need x into dx therefore i have converted that into x into dx form this is x into sin inverse x minus integral of 1 by root x root t 1 minus x square is what t into x dx x dx is what minus dt by 2 plus c or it is x into sin inverse x minus take that to outside minus into minus plus what is remaining 1 by root t what is integration of root x 
integration of root x is what? It is 1 by 2 root x. So according to that, according to that integration of 1 by root t can be taken as 2 root t plus t. This 2, 2 cancel. You just rewrite the value of x, sorry, t. What is t? t is 1 minus x square plus c. Okay. The same way you can do it for an inverse x. Integration of tan inverse x. You make this into two terms. That is 1 into tan inverse x dx. 1 will be the constant. This is inverse. So inverse will become first and this become second. Write according to the formula. First function is what? It is tan inverse x. Integration of second. What is second? 1 into dx minus integral of d by dx of what? d by dx of first function. That is tan inverse x into integration of second. That is dx plus c. It is tan inverse of x into integration of 1 is x minus integral of what is differentiation of tan inverse x it is 1 by 1 plus x square right what is integration of 1 it is x into dx plus c again this is integrated by using what substitution method right take t is equal to 1 plus x square differentiate this dt by dx is equal to for 1 differentiation is 0 plus for x square it is 2x or it can be taken as dt by 2 is equal to x into dx dt by 2 is equal to x into dx substitute here x into tan inverse x right minus integral of 1 by t because 1 plus x square is taken as t x is x into dx, x into dx can be taken as dt by 2 plus c, it is x into tan inverse x minus take 1 by 2 outside, what is remaining 1 by t into dt, integration of 1 by x dx is what, log x, so according to that integration of 1 by t into dt is log t plus c, now you can replace that t value x into tan inverse x minus 1 by 2 into log of t t is equal to 1 plus x square plus c so like that you can work out any number of problems if they are in product form right so with this i am going to conclude my today's class if you have any doubt please ask your doubts